Sydney Sweeney had a blast from the past for her birthday. The Euphoria star turned 26 on September 12th, and she celebrated over the weekend by throwing an 80s prom-themed party. On Sunday, Sydney teased the fun and original soiree on her Instagram story with an aesthetic filtered snap of disco balls and pink curtains draped across the ceiling. To show off what the rest of the festivities looked like, she reposted several of her friends' Instagram stories from the iconic night. Many of her fellow A-list friends were there, including Nicola Peltz Beckham, who posted a photo of Sydney smiling from ear to ear, penning over the sweet photo, Happy birthday, beauty. I love you so much. Riverdale alum Camila Mendez captured the adorable moment Sydney blew out her birthday candles to a big happy birthday serenade. And Barbie star Ariana Greenblatt, who also shared a video of the actress with her giant cake. Sydney stayed true to her theme by rocking a bright pink mini dress with puffy sleeves that looked like it came straight out of the 80s, as seen in pics she posed with for guests. She also captured the decade's signature style with her voluminous blonde curls and a small pink handbag to match her ensemble. Sydney rose to fame quickly since 2021 thanks to Euphoria, The White Lotus, The Voyeurs, and Reality. Access Hollywood Surrey Hall chatted with the young starlet in January 2022 and she opened up about how she handles it all. Sydney, I want to toss this over to you. 2021 was a huge year for your career. You know, you had the White Lotus, the Voyeurs. Uh, I'm curious to know, what have you learned most about how to deal with fame and everything that comes with it? Well, I don't really go out much. Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> well, and the pandemic will do it. <laughs> mod, mod and everyone knows, I don't really go anywhere. So yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of just chill. I don't have to deal with a lot of it. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, honestly, it's, it's overwhelming. But at the same time, it's a really special thing that you're able to touch so many different people with different characters and uh, get to experience so many different stories and meet new people. Uh, I've been I've been enjoying it and I'm so excited for everyone to see the season as well and yeah. I hope that they love Cassie as much as they loved Olivia and Pippa and Cassie from season one so mm -hmm. I love it I love it and lastly uh, you know this show is all about love self-love especially love for one another um, anyone who wants to take it um what do you think, when you think about this upcoming year, 2022, do you have any love resolutions for yourself, whether it's self-love, big picture, universally? Ooh. I mean, I hope there's more love universally. That would be nice. Yeah. The earth, the earth and everyone needs it. We need it. <laughs> yeah. We need to be nicer to each other. Amen. As Sydney shared, she likes to chill at home. And Access spoke to Sydney again in May 2023, and she revealed her self-care routine. And we also got to know her a little better with a rapid fire, this or that, summer edition. Sydney, congratulations. You have so many exciting projects going on. Let's talk about Bi and how this partnership happened and why it's such a great and natural fit for you. Well, I love drinking water and I want to add a flavor to my day. So I now drink Bi every day and I'm so excited to share the Vitration Challenge with everybody and to challenge everybody to drink Bi a day. And in doing so, you've also transformed the New York City sidewalk into a boardwalk. So let's talk about that. How, how did this come about and what's it looking like outside this truck? Well, I wanted to share a summer day with everybody and my fans and I love being able to meet everybody. So I wanted to hand it out. I love ice cream trucks. So we brought ice cream truck and turned it into a bi world. I love that. And we there's so many great flavors in this collection. You gotta know, what's your favorite? My favorite is pineapple palavo. Nice, and why? Um, two reasons love pineapples and it reminds me of summer and then I also love it because I ate so many pineapples in Hawaii when I was playing White Lotus so whenever I drink it it makes me think of White Lotus which is really nice. I know, it's, it's such a great tie-in and it does it's feeling quite like summertime uh, up in here. I know it's so warm yeah. out today. Yeah so what, we gotta ask what are your big summer plans? Any trips planned? What's going on? I'm filming a movie right now in Pennsylvania so I'm kind of focused on that and then hopefully I'll have a little bit of lake time. And you've obviously stayed super busy. You've had 
quite the exciting year. How do you prioritize self-care and what's your go-to practice for that? Ooh. Um, you know, I think self-care is super important, whether it's reading a good book or doing a nice face mask at night. I try to find little moments wherever I can. And what does your ideal day off look like? A day with my dog, Tank. Nice, I love that. Um, okay, now we're going to do a summer rapid fire. So oh just God. quick questions, okay. answer with whatever comes to you. Is it like a this or that? Okay, so beach or pool? Beach. All right, sun or shade? Ooh, sun, but I know the shade's better for you. <laughs> I mean, it's serotonin. You can't, you can't refuse. Yeah. Uh, favorite beach read? Beach read? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't have a fast, rapid answer for that Mine one. Mine would have been TikTok. So, I mean, it's not read, but it's oh, close. See, I love I read reading. The I actually like reading books. So I was, like, trying to think yeah, of what book I love no. right now. Yeah, me too. But, I mean, come on. Uh, <laughs> surfing or paddleboarding? Depends on where I am. But I surf, but I also love paddleboard. Okay. But I don't know. Hey, a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, yoga or beach jog? Ooh, beach jog. Pretty good. And lastly, what's your favorite summer travel spot? Ooh, I love Italy.